Welcome back to Daybreak after seeing that Blue Origin launch. Absolutely incredible back here in our atmosphere. Current temperatures outside close to about the mid to upper 60s if you're in the Inland Valley communities. And if you're towards the coast, we do have temperatures there right around the 50s and 60s. Really nothing out of the ordinary. And in terms of the morning commute, we're starting to see some of this marine layer, this fog. It's starting to mix out a little bit more at this hour. It's not quite as dense as it was closer to about 5 o'clock but you'll definitely see it if you're commuting out along the coast or through some of your coastal valley communities this morning. Now, in terms of the clearing that will take place, mostly clear skies over those valley locations for your afternoon, and then anticipate some gradual clearing to take place out along the coast. We do have plenty of sunshine in the forecast for your Tuesday, but we will see the return of that marine layer late tonight into early tomorrow morning once again for your coastal valleys and out along the coast. In terms of the winds for today, we do have some pretty prominent northwesterly flow and what that means for us out along the coast is that it will aid in the clearing there. Now, some of the winds will start to pick up to about 15 miles per hour at their peak. I would say this is fairly consistent from the inland valleys to your coastlines with a few exceptions. We do have some sundowner winds that are making way back into the forecast later tonight into tomorrow night and that will again be towards your south coast region so we're talking refugio and gaviota and actually some of those wind speeds could get pretty close to 30 miles per hour now with the california mid-state fair kicking off tomorrow this is what we can expect for those temperatures you can see gradually increasing to those upper 70s by 10 o'clock tomorrow and then as we go into the afternoon hours, we have the potential to reach triple digits. We'll see how that plays out, but the warmest part of the day will be from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So just brace for that. Wind speeds increase from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. So by tomorrow, some of those winds could actually kick up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Make sure you're staying hydrated if you're going to be out there. Drink plenty of water because it will be really warm, not just for Paso, but also for most of our inland valley communities through the start of the weekend. Sustaining wind speeds, not too bad over the next couple of days. Increasing though, as we move to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even into the start of next week. So here's a look at those daytime highs on this Tuesday. Upper 70s for Santa Barbara will be right around the 80s and 90s today for your Santa Inez Valley. A little bit cooler in Los Alamos compared to Solving, which could reach 90 degrees. will be closer to the mid 70s for your South Coast region for Carpinteria. And you can see as we make our way into the Five Cities area, temperatures there will actually be right around the low 70s. We're staying close to the 90s for California Valley and Shandon. Back towards the North Coast, daytime highs ranging from the low 60s to about the mid 70s. I'll send it back over to